Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Steve here with Schminky's Custom Cars. Welcome back to another video. Guys, today is gonna be a quick vlog. I'm trying to I'm trying to get in the rhythm of dropping videos more frequently, excuse me, um, like I was in the beginning, because it just feels like I got a better response. And to my loyal subscribers, thank you so much for the love and support. Like, you guys motivate me to do this. Um, if you're new to the channel and you stumbled across this video, make sure you hit that subscribe icon, hit the thumbs up, and definitely leave a comment and let me know what you think. So, guys, today, the GT is getting a little bit of a cosmetic upgrade. And I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to install it, the price, and just the overall look. So everybody wants the white shift knob, the Hurst short throw shifter. But guys, we built this car on a budget, so we still got this thing. You know, the ergonomic, you know, 10 year plus old shift knob. It's still in pretty good shape. It's not war, it's not ripped, it's not crazy. I just want to spice up the interior a little bit. So we want to take the shift knob from this to this. So guys, this is what we got. We got a white shift knob from American Muscle. It's pretty cheap, um, not too bad. You know, a little cheap cosmetic upgrade. Let's go ahead and unwrap this up and see what we got. So for 30 bucks, sorry guys, I've already opened it. I was too excited. We get the shift knob and we get the shift boot retainer. You gotta have it because once you remove it, remove this, you gotta unclip the boot. And if you don't have the retainer, it's just gonna flop around and look like crap. So let's go ahead and uh, open this thing up. Let's see if I don't drop it. Like I said, guys, I already opened it. So there it is. Nice white shift knob. Very nice. It's the ceramic or polyurethane, should I say? It's a poly polyurethane ball. My God, guys, I can't talk this afternoon. So it's not gonna chip, it's not gonna fade, it's not gonna, you know, get all paint on your hand. It's not one of those cheap eBay ones. And guys, American Muscle has several different types. They got ponies on them, they got stripes, you can get the Cobra, you can get six speed, you can get, I don't know, whatever, whatever option you're looking, different colors even, but I went with the white. I figured it would set off the tan and black interior. So let's get this stuff put away and let's get busy removing this thing. So what you want to do first is get this up. And typically, all you got to do is pull. Um, we don't have the chrome fancy bezel, so we just pop it up like this. Pull it up. Man, you can see in there, you see the rubber grommet, the shield to keep all the dust out of the inside of the car. It's kind of nasty in there. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Ah, look at that. It's got uh, painted bolts. Uh, get the camera to focus. Man, it's gross. But anywho, you pop it up. Man, all you got to do is twist oh guys it's gonna be really tough because it's been on there since factory right now i got a naked shift handle so next what you want to do is turn this inside out get down to sorry guys gotta go out of frame you gotta get down to this locking pin right here and this thing literally just unclips you take it off, it loosens up the the band around the shifter. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there it is. There's the shifter band, and you just pop that off, guys. You just pry it out with like a decent flathead screwdriver. I would show you this, but uh, I can't do both. I can't hold the camera and do this, so you're just gonna have to see the after effect. And boom, there it is. It's off. Cool, huh? Very simple. It just had this little rubber grommet in here that was holding it on the bottom. So that's what it looks like. There's the grommet holder. We just gotta lock it into place, right? So I don't know if you guys can see it or even I'm in the camera, but you wanna take this, take this, push it up through like this, right? It's a rubber, pretty much a rubber grommet, so you can, you can just push. It's kind of difficult, so keep in mind, you just gotta push and roll it around the edge. Pry it however you gotta get it, but it's such a tight fit, guys. Even for as old as this car is, 
this rubber grommet's got some elasticity to it. And there you go. Just ready to go back on the car. Direction that the boot is facing. So you want this part forward towards the stereo. You want it facing that way. As best as you can, you know, get it, right? So in the same process as we took the other one off, we're gonna slide it and then screw this sucker down as far as low as we can get it. And we're gonna go to time lapse because let's be honest, you don't want to watch this. So there you go guys. The boots back down, everything snapped into place. Now it's time to put the shift knob on. I want to make sure that you get the threads lined up correctly because you let's be honest, you don't want to strip it out on your brand new shift knob, you know what I mean? And you just run it down to the retainer because you've already got it tight and you just run it down till this is tight. Now me, I'm a little bit OCD, so the pattern's got to match. If the pattern doesn't match, I don't like it. So the pattern's up and down, correct, it looks good, gives it a little bit of style, don't it guys? There you go guys, American Muscle Shift Knob installed sitting the right orientation it looks good it gives it gives a little bit of class guys it looks pretty pretty darn good i think it's definitely better than this one we'll keep this one and put it up just in case we don't like the new one but it looks good guys guys thanks for watching like always if you enjoyed the video please hit that uh like button and leave a comment below show me some love and some support if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe icon, and thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciated. Hopefully you enjoyed this little brief install. American Muscle, I need a sponsor. Hook me up, bro. Hook me up. Anyway, guys, with that being said, we are out of here, and we'll see you next time on Schmicky's Custom Cars.